What's up, y'all? I'm out here with a very special guest today. This is Keith. He also has a YouTube channel. It's called The Lost Anchovy. Why, why is it called The Lost Anchovy? I thought um, about that. The Lost Anchovy. I was, I was being goofy and then it just stuck. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking you were just out there alone on the kayak one day. You saw one anchovy. It's just a lost anchovy. <laughs> and, you know, it was everybody, when I first started, everyone was like ripping lips. Eight, ripping lips 22. <laughs> I ripped your lips again. So I was like, you know, I, I just want to do something a little different. The lost anchovy. I like it. It's kind of just like majestic in a way. Yeah. Just a lost anchovy. But today, we're going for bait. It's not going to be anchovies, though. We're going for for herring, one of the best crab bait, one of the best salmon baits, one of the best lingcod bait. And we're almost to the spot. Um, the spawn has just begun. It is the end of January, and Keith has been doing this for, for years now, 10 years, years or so. At least 10 years, yeah. So, uh, in your experience, what has, like, when do the herring start? Uh, what else, I don't know, what can you tell people about the herring spawn? Well, with the herring spawn, I mean, I've been doing it for some time now and they do have a schedule they go on. So you're looking at December as the first time when you're gonna start looking to target herring, right? Yeah. And then it'll, it'll run to March, you know, but within that time frame between December and March, that's when they're gonna be in the bay. Okay, so like if you wanted to go for herring in like July, August, September, chances are almost nothing you you won't get them but between january to march it's a good time last year the big spawn happened in march um but right now it's january so we're seizing the moment and going after it and after we catch some hopefully we find them we're going to cook some up uh <laughs> he wants me to eat it so i'll, I'll give it a shot and yeah, most people it. i don't know i think they're amazing because i was reading kirk lombard's book and he was saying that bait fish they're lower on the food chain so they'll have less chance to have mercury and toxins and stuff and keith was saying they have high levels of omega-6 omega six are, are the good oils right the ones you have in um in salmon right those yeah. are good oils mm -hmm. and since they have low uh, mercury they're actually really good uh fish for you yeah so it's just if you so, can get over the taste then, then it's good. i think it tastes amazing <laughs> i think it tastes amazing so we'll see um yeah so we're almost out there we're, hopefully we can get them and then hop onto a to an island and cook them up so right now we're just cruising around the guys from shore just got a net full we're looking at the fish finder here we see little patches here and there but i guess we're looking for like a massive amount and there's sea lions all around it's high tide uh, what's your opinion on tides uh they should they, they've been going in the afternoon right so what time is it right now like 10 or something? 10.20. 10.20. 10, so yeah. in the next few hours. Next few hours. Yeah, yeah. next few hours. We just kind of have to figure out where it would be. We just passed by a bunch of them on the fish finder. Yep. Nice, dude. Right here, bro. <laughs> All right. Heck. There you go. You want to try it, Ray? Yeah, let me get my net out. Yeah, there you go. All right. Still got it. Let it sink to the bottom, huh? Yeah, let it sink to the bottom. Right? Until it hits bottom? Yeah. You, ne you never get snagged out here like this? Uh, I shouldn't be here. All right, it's on bottom. Oh, keep going. It's okay. They're, they're there. So how I'm throwing this cast net, I got this thing around my wrist. Yeah. And I just do loops here, just like you're uh, doing some electrical wire. Just small loops and circles. And then once I get to the... The, the ring, this is a small cast net, but I go about a foot up and then one, two with the weight. And then when I throw it, I give it a little spin. And it's not a perfect pancake, but it'll do the job. They're there. <laughs> you see them, they're there. They're there. Yeah. they're there. These are good size. And that's what we're going to eat too in a minute. Also, if you guys ever do this, it's good to have waders. waders. <laughs> Keith's got waders, I got waterproof top. All right, let's uh, let's move around. I think the I think yeah. that was just a one-off. But yeah, yeah. yeah. There yeah, you go, you. brother. Yep. Yep. Thought so. Use this one. You quit. You're not. You, this is heavier one. Yeah. So you're gonna have to go like this. You have to like, go like this, mm -hmm. and then you have to go like halfway, like yeah. that. Yeah. To go like that to get yours right, uh -huh. and then you do it. And okay. Do the same thing. Go ahead. Right. Go for it, bro. Good. Ooh. Ooh, no, that's like. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, let's, let's see. If, if you're on a big one, it, it, it might not matter. Oh, you got it. You got one right there. Oh, is that the perch? <laughs> oh, the perch. <laughs> you got a <the> perch. <laughs> yeah, 
to reverse it. So let's keep going. Oh, I feel some. Oh, I think I do. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah right there. Nice. <laughs> Don't open that yet. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you think the herring are they're just waiting to spawn? Yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> when the, when the tide goes right, the whole place will light up, dude. The whole place would just light up. They'll all come from all the over this area and they'll light up. Yeah. They could be out there too. See all those birds that they're laying over there? But I, I feel like it's better here because the sea lions are like chasing them. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You see the sea lions are, are more telling the, of where they are. I see. Nice. Oh yeah. Right there. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, no, oh, I, did. I finally got nice. one from the stupid net. <laughs> oh man, I need, I need a new net. I didn't realize I needed a new net, but there I need go. a new net. There you go. I think the net I have is like a three foot net. This is probably a six foot net, right? You ain't going back to that four footer no, no more. No, hell no. <laughs> you ain't going back to the, the Carlos training wheels. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm gonna get a get, 10 footer get next. A, get, a, get a man's net. <laughs> All right, I think, I think, think got a few. I think got a few. Yep. Got a few? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, more than a few. Yeah. More than a few. Right on. Yeah. And that the throw really matters, huh? It does, bro. Nice. We just have to tune, tune in to them. They see what they're saying. Yep, somebody told their friends, and now all the birds are here. They're all lining up, getting in position. That's a good, that's a good time. That's a uh, right on them. We can get them right here. I got some. Oh yeah, look at it. R roll it, roll it. Oh, I got some, I got some. Right here. Nice, bro. Nice, bro. Where's that camera? Are we on? Yeah. Right here. Hell yeah. Well, I, t I told you, we'll get them right on them. <laughs> You're right on them, bro. Even I've got five in this little net. Right here, bro. Right here. Pull a spawn right here. Do it. <clears throat> get him. Hell yeah, man. They're spawning right here. I'll take I'll take uh, credit for being a good captain. <laughs> All right, we got two buckets. The limit is two buckets, two five gallon buckets per person. It's it was on bottom. It's on the bottom. But I got it. Got some. I got it. Nice. I got it. Heck yeah, dude. You want the right here, bro? Sure. Yeah, that yeah. Way. So the transducer is on the back of the boat. So when we pass them on the fish yeah. finder, they're directly below us. So I'm kind of waiting right till we pass them, and then it's a good time to throw. Right there. It's a beautiful mark. <laughs> Almost. Right there. there we go. Boom! Get it, Matt. Alright. Get it. Oh. Oh. That's it right here. I think so. <laughs> I think so. That's I it. I hope so. Yep. Yep. Yeah. All right, that's a bucket. That's a bucket full. All right. just about as perfectly as you can. A couple takeaways, the smaller nets, although they're easier to throw, they don't get as much herring. That's like just right there, you just saw it. Three foot versus a six foot net, six foot caught at least 10 times. So it's not just double, it's like exponential. I think it helps a lot to have two people, one working the motor, one working the net. But yeah, other than that, like the spawn's going off. There's a ton of people here. And just because they're here one day, doesn't mean they'll be here the next. They could be all over the bay. Now, let's go cook some up. So this is the herring we got. One five gallon bucket full, and we got two more coolers totaling four five gallon buckets fulls. But for our meal today, right now, we're only gonna have four herring. Okay, so I'm gonna put them in this clean bucket. I just cleaned it up. I'm gonna fill this up with water because we're gonna clean them and pretty much, pretty much fry them. It's really simple and delicious. A little bit of water. 
So like I said, this is gonna be a really simple meal. We're gonna take the herring, but we're gonna take the spine out. There's a couple ways you could do it too. You could just do it straight filet, or you could scale it first. And since Keith isn't the fondest of herring or bait fish, I'm gonna do everything I can to make it as palatable as I can. So I'm just gonna do a quick scaling, and it, all, it only takes a minute too. So actually, it doesn't even take a minute. It takes 10 seconds, get all the scales off, and I'm just gonna do that for all the fish first. Look how fast that is. And as long as you get 80% of the scales off, you pretty much did the job. Now to fillet these, you really don't need any fancy knife. This is just a $1 knife from Ikea. And all you want to do is just right behind the gill plate, just cut it, cut it down, and just run the knife right along the spine. And you'll find out whether it's a male or female real quick. And just do a fillet like that. And that's that's what we're gonna eat. Cut both sides, and you can just cut right through the rib cage, because even though there are some bones there, when you bite them, you can bite straight through them. Whereas if you were to cook the spine here, it's a little bit thicker and you might get poked. That's the batter we're gonna use, some Korean tempura batter. So this batter has all the seasoning in it already. It's got salt, garlic, powder, and a bunch of other stuff. So I put a bunch in this cup. I'm just gonna get it to the consistency that I want by adding water in it. Maybe like a slightly thick pancake mix. Almost at the consistency we want, just a little bit more thin. And if you do too much water, you can always throw a little bit more batter in. So it's very forgiving. And so simple and so easy. I hope Keith likes it. <laughs> All right, we got the consistency we want. This is pretty good here. We got this mini wok here, and we're just gonna heat up this oil. And by the time it's heated, it should be ready to cook. Just some oil. I'm just gonna give these herring one more, one more rinse, rip off the little fin here, try to get as many of these little bones out as I can. But really, it doesn't matter too much because once it fries, it'll be good. So, oh, into the batter she goes. Oil should be hot enough. Just a simple fry, you know, nothing too, nothing fancy, nothing too special. Let's see if it's hot enough. Mm, yeah, almost there. Actually, I think it is. One. All right, should be good. Take them out. Let them dry on this paper towel for a minute. All right, doesn't look too bad, huh? Looks pretty good, looks pretty good. Ready to eat. All right, Keith, thanks All right. again, man. It was great fishing with you today. I had a lot of fun. All right, it was a blast. Yeah, hope you had fun too. Fish, um, the fish are finicky, didn't, wasn't, wasn't no guarantees we we're gonna get them, but. Start out a little slow, but I had confidence throughout the day. And yeah, we got them. Um, so uh, before we try this, Keith has a blog. Uh, I don't, do you wanna talk about the blog? Sure, sure. Uh, my blog is uh, thelosanchovy.com. Um, it's mainly for kayak fishermen, but you know, there's a lot of things for everybody uh, to, to learn a little bit about fishing. I, I put it there, you know, for people to learn about fishing because I think it's a great um, resource that everyone should partake in. Um, and, and this year, obviously, the big thing on my blog right now is the herring spawn. Right. Right. So if you guys want to learn more about it, jump on. It's really interesting to me because this is a whole other topic, but people go to the blog and they share information, but some people might think that's spot burning. What, what's your opinion on spot burning? Spot burning, I, you know, I, I, my opinion on spot burning generally is that the fish move yeah. everywhere, right? right? So good fishermen will learn how to, to follow the fish and get to the fish. But, and with, with regards to herring, you know, there is no worry spot because you'll go there and there could be no herring there. True. So there really isn't a spot to burn on herring. You just have to get on them. Yeah, it's like salmon, yeah, same thing. Exactly. They could be here one day. They could be here one day, could be gone the next, you know. But it's a big thing in the fishing community it that is. a lot of people might not know about, you know, posting landmarks. and But there's more and more people fishing and posting videos on YouTube. I kind of have mixed feelings about it, but in general, I'm leaning more towards it's a positive thing for the fishing community. Mm -hmm. Like people are just getting out there. Families are getting out there more and 
you know, yeah. knowledge being shared. Okay. I, I, I mean, that's my big thing is it's, you know, you don't know what people are dealing with nowadays, especially during the pandemic, yeah. you know, and, and them going out and fishing could really help them mentally, whatever yeah. it is. And to me, to lose a fish for a guy to, to, to do well in his life, take it yeah and most likely we wouldn't even lose the fish yeah exactly right it's not a big deal yeah so not a big deal. besides the blog uh keith also has the youtube channel the lost anchovy takes a lot of effort and care into making his videos so check him out now let's try this dude let's do it let's do it all right it's making just... me eat my no bait policy, yeah, <laughs> no bait policy. <laughs> matt's making me eat my no bait <laughs> policy but i'll do it for you brother here right. cheers cheers man let me know how it really so let me know how it tastes for real Oh, he's making me rethink this. There's no fishiness to it, which no. is the, the biggest thing for me is there's fishiness to it. Mm -hmm. This is freshly caught, no fishiness to it. It's not. I can eat it. I can eat it. Yeah, there's... Do you think it's something that you're saying now in the moment? No, no I think it's, it's legit. I think it's legit. All right, let me see you another one then. Okay. <laughs> yeah. He's thinking I'm just doing it for a show. <laughs> if it was for a show, I'd gag. <laughs> I'd gag, but... No, it's actually really legit. It's so good. Yeah, a little tartar sauce, I think, would exactly, be very good. Yeah. And some Pink little bones, bones it doesn't even matter. Mm -hmm. And it's good for you. It's healthy. I don't know. Yeah. So, you know, you catch herring. You don't need to have a boat. You don't mm -hmm. have to throw the cast net. You can do it from a pier with the sabiki. You can do it from shore with the sabiki too. So, yeah. Yeah. The only thing with me is that if, if it has that fishiness smell to it, mm -hmm. it, it, it does force me to kind of feel a little bit, you know, ugh. Yeah. But, you know, if, if, I think he's cleaned it fairly well. Oh. There's nothing on it, so it's just fresh protein. So, mm -hmm. yeah, cheers. Yeah, cheers. Yep. All right, man. Thanks again. Yeah. Simple video, pretty easy, but it was fun. I'm super stoked. You know, we've been thinking about doing this collab for quite a while. We never got around to it, but uh, couldn't have asked for a better collab, huh? Yeah, yeah. I, a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. You know, we were worried a little bit about the beginning, but then when they came through, yeah, yeah, never fished together. This is the first time, and yeah, Could hopefully have any we, better. Yeah, hopefully we can do it again. Yeah. I think I'm gonna cook the rest of those. Do it. Not bad, right? Not bad. For real. Actually, really tasty.